Okay, so here today we are outside Centre Court, Wimbledon, with the lovely Alice Gold. If you haven't heard of Alice Gold, shame on you. It's only a matter of time because this young lady here is, according to Q Magazine, one of the next best things. Well, that was last year. So, Alice, that was that was then. <laughs> now you are not the next big thing. You are the big thing. Tell us, uh, tell us what's happening. You're gigging. You've got the festivals this summer. You've got a single coming out. It's all happening. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. No, um, we are doing just on a tour with the Pierces. Um, who are amazing and lovely and we've got booked up for the whole festival season so I'm um, doing lots of festivals and, and then hopefully you know other, other tours later this year. And it's really exciting because what I like about you is uh, if you are an overnight sensation it's the usual yeah yeah quite a few years actually of <laughs> you know you went to America didn't, didn't you you've done a lot of busking you know you've done the hard yards. Yeah I've, I've, done, I've done a lot of traveling and stuff and um, um, and sort of twiddling my thumbs and sort of trying to sort of um, write songs and um, you know I'm not um, a spring chicken. Um, I've sort of uh, definitely sort of done my 10,000 hours of, uh, of graft, hard graft. Yes. And, and all the better for it, Alice, as well. Now, um, if you haven't checked it out, um, uh, Debbie Singer was last year, uh, Orbiter, which um, I had a look at. Check out the video, by the way. It's psychedelic. Did you like that one? I did like it, yeah. Um, <laughs> me and Austin Powers, we both liked it. <laughs> we both liked it a lot. Second single, A uh, Runaway Love, as well, which made the A list on Radio 2. I know, it did, yeah, really. That was just so exciting. And, um, and I've, I've met so many wonderful people who, um, through, through that, and um, I'm meeting them all at shows at the moment and and they're still playing it and, and you know my next single cry 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 um, as well so yeah it's exciting i see you've moved seamlessly then into oh, into you your into your next single which is absolutely brilliant <laughs> june the 27th yep. um i was just going to say by the way you've also toured with, with loads of people including eels and, and a particular favorite band of mine athletes oh right yes yeah we did athlete last year that was great the eels was um particularly special because um I, I, they're just they're just it's particularly the uh, bass player. I've just made some good friends. They're lovely, lovely people, and um, yeah, I was travelling around um, Europe on my own with a friend, driving, sharing the driving, and just following the bus. And and the, those boys work hard, so it was ten nights in, in a row of, of shows as well as driving. So it's a memorable experience. I'm not going to do it again, but I've, again, I've sort of felt that I've done the hard. Graft. No, fantastic. And of course, Eels are another great, great band, famous for all sorts of things, including Shrek. Did you know this? No, didn't Eels, Eels did some of the some of the music to oh, Shrek. They? Yes, they did. So there we go. You've learned something today, if nothing else. Um, so yeah. Now, what else? Well, you've got your single June the twenty seventh. You've got your first album, yep. debut album, entitled Seven Rainbows. Seven Rainbows, and that's out July the fourth. Yep. So, and that's produced by Dan Carey, who also produced Franz Ferdinand and Lily Allen. Not too shabby, Alice Gold. Um, did he do Lily Allen? Apparently so. I think um, LaRue, um, I don't think he did do Lily Allen. Well, according to Wikipedia, you're also Polish, 64 years <laughs> old, and you were the number one tennis player in the world, which is why we're here. We got uh, this wrong. Oh no, you've got the wrong Alice Gold. Oh no. Oh, right. oh no. What are we doing here? Come back, <laughs> come back. Um, so it is all happening here, which is the main thing. And you're doing the festival, you're doing Glastonbury, you're doing Tea in the Park. Yeah, we've got, we're opening up the other stage, Glastonbury. Um, are you? Saturday at, at 12 o'clock. Right. Which we are just all very excited about. And um, you've got to come along to that show because it's going to be a real moment for all of us. We're going to have a really good Friday night and just have one cider. You must be so excited you're on the verge of self-combusting. Well, not quite, but you know. I am. I'm excited <laughs> for you. Oh. Almost, almost. Fantastic. Now, um, we're here outside Wimbledon. Now, apart from the fact that Wimbledon is upon us, yeah. there's a reason why we're here, isn't there? Well, yeah, I, I've always loved um, tennis and Wimbledon. It, in my family, we um, it was a big thing. Every uh, every year, there's two weeks shutdown where we, you know, literally watch the t t tennis um, without any interruptions, if possible. And um, if for a treat we could find tickets, I used to sort of come here with my mum quite often every Did year. Did you? Yeah. What sort of, uh, can you think of any highlights, any great matches you Henman saw? Henman Hill, I was there with the, when Henman... Uh, um, that's gone now, of course. It's, it's Murray Mount, isn't it? <laughs> it is, I know. Apparently it's Murray Mount, or Murray Mole Hill or something. Something like that, is it? Murray <laughs> Mole oh, no. I just made that up. Um, yeah, so I've had many good memories here, and um, 
I, I just love tennis and um, yeah I can't wait to support Andy Murray and the new guy. The new guy. What's his name? Andy Murray and the new guy, uh, Mr Ward, James, James Ward. James Ward. Yeah. I've got, I've got my eye on him. Have I've you? got high hopes. Yeah. Okay. So what's going to happen then? Andy Murray quarter final, semi final? Andy Murray is on fire. Oh right. Moment. Have you seen, he's just won uh -huh. Queens. He has. So it's, he's just on strong, strong form. Nadal, I've got to say he's a bit of a favourite of mine. What really good guns. Alright, so Alice Gold, <laughs> well known tennis pundit, get off the fence. We need to know the name of the 2011 Wimbledon men's and women's champions. I think it might be Nadal. Okay. And what about the women? Serena just rocks up, does it play all year well, and I've wins got a Wimbledon? I feeling that the, the Williams might lose it this year. Really? Oh, I don't know. I've just, I'm kind of hopeful just because I know they haven't been playing that much tennis this year and to sort of just swing in and play Wimbledon and win would be That's what they thing. tend to do they though. They always do it and they're amazing but it would be great if uh, another 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 person came up. I don't, I don't know but I'm, I'm, I'm betting that they'll not get it, the sisters. Okay. Week. Now the thing is you've got all these gigs and festivals and it's you know the singles out shortly and everything else. How are you going to watch Wimbledon this year? Um, I'm going to find some kind of satellite transmission box and um, <laughs> set it up in a tour van and make sure I've just got champagne and strawberries with me all the time. So it's like a move in Wimbledon? Yeah. Fantastic. That's that sounds idea. a great idea. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun in your touring bus. <laughs> Alice, listen, it's been an absolute delight to meet you. I know we're going we're to hear a little bit of music from you now, yes. which is absolutely fantastic. Enjoy Wimbledon. Enjoy the festivals. Best of luck with the single called... Cry, cry, cry. Out uh, end of June. Best of luck with the album called... Seven Rainbows. And everybody look out for this young lady. She's going places. If I were you, I wouldn't be stronger. Why you been strong all the time? It only takes a little bit longer To figure out the feelings inside To figure out the meanings But life isn't got a purpose It all gets out